Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. On the last episode, we took on the entire Elite Four and beat them with ease. And now, now, we are ready to take on the Lauren League Champion. Up first I have Blaze. Sorry, my nose is kind of like stuffed. Yeah, and it kind of like, every time I talk it feels weird. So yeah, Blaze is up first. As you can see, our Pokemon are at 75. Blaze is at 76. And um, let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, we can actually actually like walk up to him. There we go. I knew I would get to face you. The first time I saw you, I knew you had great potential. You really are good. But now it's time to face the real Lauren League champion. Well, I... I don't understand how I can face a real Lauren League champion since I can't really face myself. But alright, so first up he sends out Charizard, so I guess Blaze isn't that great up front. Let's go for a fire blow and see how much that would do. Definitely not going to speed this up because um you know the most important battle and it's in by it's by itself, so yeah. Um, if I speed it up it'll be kinda short. And don't really want a short episode so let's go for some more fire blows it doesn't really lower my uh, attack or special attack or anything and we got lucky there with a nice crit definitely needed that to take out the Charizard and let's see who's next Garchomp is up next that is no problem for Jevrath to handle so let's go ahead and uh, do that um, Drag Claw is probably my best move to use against it, although it won't do enough to knock it out, I don't think. Wow, I actually took out the Garchomp pretty easily. Um, it seems like Lauren is going to be a lot easier than, um, uh, what, what do you call it, than what, how Zeri was. You know, Zeri, I was kind of behind and I needed to uh, level up everyone to 65 and I was able to defeat the uh, champion. But look at this, I'm only level 75, 10 levels higher. Extreme speed, of course, will kill me. Wow. Um, I just used Jevrath. But yeah, just 10 levels higher from the last Elite Four, and I can take out anyone pretty easily. These guys aren't doing much damage to me, and um, it's not that hard to take them out. Although this Lucario seems like it's going to be a pain. So let me uh, speed up. There we go. That's what I wanted. And Dragon Claw should uh, do a good amount of damage. Your Screech, I don't know why you're using Screech because I'm faster since you're paralyzed as well. And you're taken down, so your Screeches did nothing. And I'm probably gonna switch out, so there was no point. Oh no, a High Dragon. Um, I can easily take that out with a Dragon Claw because my High Dragon is so overpowered that even that even though you're nine levels ahead of me. I am faster than you, but of course you're going to take me out with that Dragon Claw because of the screeches. So I'm going to have to go for Bubbles and use the Surf for that little bit of health. Hopefully uh, it'll do enough um, damage to take it out. Probably not because uh, Dragon resists water, but that Body Slam is not going to take me out. And I don't get paralyzed, so I'm fine. And there goes his Hydreigon, 10 levels higher than most of my Pokemon. Zoroark is up next. Blaze is down, so we can't use any fighting type moves against it. So I'm going to keep out Bubbles and just go for the Surfs, level 84. I believe that Hydreigon was his uh, highest level Pokemon. So yeah, uh, I don't see the point of using Imprison. I don't have any moves that you have. Maybe if I had like Bite or Crunch, then yeah. Nightshade is going to do 84 and take me out. Yep. Now let's go for Blade. Maybe Blade can take out the Zoroark. And take it out. Zoroark actually reminds me, like, its name reminds me of Zoroaster from, uh, like, the, the Persian Empire, I think it was, or something. Something in the Middle East in long time history. But that's what it reminds me of. Arcanine is up next. I definitely can't take it out with Blade. So I'm going to go for Zapper. Alright. And I completely forgot I could have taken out that uh, Zorark with Zapper. Because Zapper has uh, 
Ice Smash, which is fighting type. But let's go for a uh, Thunder Wave to uh, paralyze the Arcanine. You know, ensure that we go first. Let's go for a Thunder Shock. And Extreme Speed is probably going to take me out. Wow. No, I live with a little bit. And I do crap to it. So let's just use Zapper to revive Bubbles. And that's pretty much it for this uh, battle against him. Because, um, yeah, let's go for a Thunder Shock. Probably going for the Extreme Speed. Take me out. Yep. But that is probably it for Blake because Bubbles is going to take out his Arcanine with a Surf. I don't think Extreme Speed will be enough to take me out. And it doesn't go for it anyway, so. Surf is, okay, gonna leave it with a little bit. You're paralyzed anyways. And Surf takes you out, so that is it for uh, Blake. Great, so we're done with that. And defeated champion Blake. I'm speechless. You overpowered me so quickly. That was brilliant. <coughs> My uh, voice there. All right. Now that you've conquered the Zero League, the first thing I'll say is congratulations. You were sensational. Wait, this is the Lauren League. Um, interesting. This is my mom. Yep. Joseph, that was amazing. I'm so proud of you. If your dad were here, he'd say the same thing. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Your mom and I came to cheer you on, but we missed it. Joseph, it's time to enter your Pokemon in the Hall of Fame. Come with me. All right. So now that we've done that, we are now being entered in the Hall of Fame, and we are the Zero League champion as well as the Lauren League champion. Joseph, this is the Hall of Fame. You'll now be recognized throughout the Pokemon world as a Pokemon master. Type your name and team of Pokemon into the machine. All right. So now that we've defeated both, uh. Zeri and Lauren, we are here back home. Um, apparently there are no credits in this game, so yeah, um, I'm gonna guess mom is gonna come back out. No, oh wow. Let's see what mom says actually. Hey Joseph, you're the pride of my life. I hope you're always as close to your mom. Thank you, because I am the champion of two regions, and we are back here in Yellowtown. All the way back in uh, Zeri. I'm, I wanna go to Pokemon Center. But I'm just going to end it off here in front of my house. Um, for the next few episodes, we will probably be, um, you know, getting legendaries and all of that. Um, maybe I'll do some things with uh, catching all the Pokemon, you know, showing off where they are. And, oops, I lowered the volume. Yeah, so um, we'll probably be just showing off where the uh, Pokemon are. I'll definitely be catching them all because this this game is an amazing game. So uh, there will definitely be an episode for that. Um, I believe I let me check my Pokedex actually and see how many Pokemon we can get. So we've seen 298 and owned um, 27. And let's just go to the end and see uh, which. So there's 192 so far. Um, and yeah. We're gonna have to look Bagon. Uh, we have a Beldum, so that's good. Horses, Chinchows. I don't know what these two Pokemon might be. Um, we need a Clam Pearl. Look at this. All these Pokemon, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be too hard to get them. We can get them all. Um, uh, any Pokemon that evolve by trade, we can get by. Um, uh, what do you call it? By um by yeah by, by pretty much trade with some non playable characters NPCs whatever you want to call them uh, they'll give us like someone gives us an out uh, Kadabra someone gives us a Haunter um, a Machoke and none of them have ever shown so they'll definitely evolve once traded so yeah let's uh, end off the episode here next time we'll be catching some legendaries catching some Pokemon and yeah, I will see you guys then. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Goodbye.